Okay, so we're ready to create our plan and profile sheets. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is come up here under Method, and I'm going to switch this over to Plan Only, and I'll leave my Use Station Limits on. We're going to create our plan views, and I'm going to going to disable the Generate Sheets option because we don't really want to create the sheets. We're not creating plan sheets, we're just creating plan views that are going to go on to the plan and profile sheets. And it looks like my station limits got adjusted somehow. Well, let me fix those again. And so with those two items changed, I'll simply click Apply and it creates my plan views right here and it looks like five views have been created so that means we'll have five sheets now with those created I'm gonna come back up here and select plan and profile and now under plan views I'm gonna select use plan views because we're going to use these plan views now that we just created to place on the plan and profile sheets and I'm going to enable generate sheets because now we actually want to create sheet files and I'll use the VDF information and host files option uh, that's um, our view definition files which saves a file of our views that we can pull up later so that's good to have uh, since we're creating a profile now what I want to do is I want to turn my station lock back on. So I'm going to go to Tools, Locks, and I'll turn my Station Lock back on. Let me expand that back up. And, let's see, let me click back to our design file. And with all of this set, I'm going to go ahead and save a preference set. Click Save As, Plan, Profile, 50 scale. Click OK. I'll close that and we should be ready to go. So now just click apply and if you look at the bottom left it says identify location. Uh, just find a spot out here in the open and click so you can create your profile views. It's similar to creating a regular profile. Inroads creates these separate profile views to use to put on the sheets and okay it's done creating sheets so come up here to the sheet index tab and it looks like it created five sheets and we can review them let's select sheet number one I'll click show sheet and we can review our sheet uh, there's our north arrow there's our station limits um, sheet number one of five, our scale, one inch equals fifty, and these items are all populated automatically based on the information that we have in our title block dot dat file. And let me expand that. And let's look at sheet number two. Show sheet. There's our north arrow. Sheet two of five, our station limits. Let's check our match line. Next sheet, number three. It looks good. Uh, there's our profile. Uh, the bottom left corner is where we inserted it at, two and a half inches over and three and a half inches up. Uh, let's look at our last sheet. It should be a partial plan view. Probably doesn't expect. Yeah, no, almost. There's our north arrow. Okay, good. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and save these view definitions. So I'll click Save As. And I can name this uh, 591 uh, Views. I'll just name it 591 Views for now. Click Save. I'll go ahead and close out of that. You can continue reviewing your sheets if you want. And that's an overview of how to create your plan and profile sheets using the inroads plan and profile generator.